Hi guys, I hope your day is going super lovely today. So if you guys are wondering, Sarai, what is up with your hair? I have done absolutely nothing with my hair today because we are going to be testing out a new hair tool that looks like this. I don't really even know how to describe my hair. It isn't curly, it's not straight, it's not wavy, it's confused. That's, that's the best way to describe my hair. It's at a very confusing state in its life. Uh, so yeah, if I don't do anything with my hair, it's really, really frizzy. I don't have a lot of hair either. It's just, it's very thin and it's very frizzy. Uh, and it was like this before I dyed my hair green and blue. Just in case you guys are wondering, that's just how my hair goes. So I do like using straightening tools to smooth out my hair, uh, just so it can look a little bit more presentable. So at the moment I am using the Chi flattening iron and it's the half inch one and it's not my favorite. Like I like it but I don't love it. I feel like it still doesn't leave my hair as smooth as I would like it to be. So when I saw this I thought that this would be a really good tool and it looks like it's very promising. It is a straightener and also a brush in one so I feel like it's going to really smooth out my hair. Hopefully it will do that. This is actually from an Amazon seller called You Spice and I will leave a link to this hair straightener down below. So I'm going to test this out today and let's see if it works out for me. It actually came with a couple things I should note. It came with this glove, this heat resistant glove, which is awesome. I do not want to burn my hands. And then it also came with this bag as well. And I believe that this is a heat resistant material as well, which is cool. It came with this as well. I'm not quite sure what this is. It looks like a little brush that you would like paint your hair with. Uh, but yeah, not sure what this is for. Maybe to gather hair as you're straightening it. I don't know. Not sure about this. But it also came with this, which is very important. This little booklet, which tells you how to use this product. So I'm going to read the directions real quick. So it says press and holds the power button until the display screen lights up. So let's do that. So it has a data up as you can see right here. And it says the initial temperature is set at 355 degrees Fahrenheit. So adjust the temperature by pressing the temperature uh, buttons here, the plus and the minus sign, and it says each press will change the temperature by 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So the display screen will flash when reaching the target temperature. So for thick or dense hair, you want it to be around 410 to 450 Fahrenheit. And for medium volume hair, you want it to be 330 degrees to 400 Fahrenheit. And then for soft fine hair, which I think that's more of my category, you want it to be at 250 to 320 Fahrenheit. So after setting the right temperature, comb through your hair as you normally do, but at a slower speed. Reduce the amount of hair each time to increase the effect. It also says if you press the plus and the minus sign together, then you will change the Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius, vice versa. So you can set any temperature between 250 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees to 230 degrees Celsius. So to turn off this brush, you press and hold the power button until the display screen turns off. And one thing to note, when you straighten your hair, you want to make sure that your hair is dry. You do not want to straighten your hair with this tool wet. And you pull and hold your hair with one hand and gently brush with long continuous strokes. So I think we got this. So I'm going to set my temp to, uh, let's see, to 320 degrees. Well, you can't see the light there, but I have set it to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. It's blinking, so I think it is getting to its temperature. And once it stops blinking, that means it is at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. But it always starts at 355 degrees Fahrenheit. So you always have to adjust it. So I'm going to place my glove 
on my left hand. Fits nice, nice and snug. Snug as a bug. I'm excited to test this out. Okay, here we go. Can you guys see the difference between this side and this side? Pretty big difference there. The bristles are hot, so you do not want to touch the bristles with your bare hands. And I will say, lift your hair up, especially when you are bringing the brush down towards your ears because you do not want to burn your ears. What I like about this straightener is that it doesn't leave any weird kinks on your hair. Everything looks very uniformed. You can't really see where you started straightening your hair and where you ended. It just looks very natural. Also, I find you don't really have to section your hair with this brushing tool because it gets to all of your hair at once. It really picks up a lot of hair, so that's another good thing. With my other flat iron, I do have to section my hair, but with this one, I don't. It's basically just like combing your hair. That is awesome. So this is the finished result, and I feel like it really did straighten my hair rather well. It's very sleek. I will say, after I straighten my hair, since the bristles are a little wide, I would still go back in with just a regular brush of yours and just brush your hair again, just to make your hair a little bit more uniformed. That's just my little tip. That's what I would do. And then you could style it how you want. You can add like a flip to the ends. Whatever you feel is best. But yeah, this is an amazing, an amazing tool. It works really, really well. It's super, super easy to use. It's awesome. Let me just shut it off now. Shut off. It takes a while to shut off for some reason. Okay, it's off. So, I definitely would recommend this to someone who is just as hair challenged as me, or if you are someone who straightens your hair on a daily basis, this is great because it's a two for one. It combs your hair and it straightens your hair, and I feel like it doesn't leave any nicks or any just weird separation. Um, it's not like a flat iron where you can like see the divots in your hair where you begin and where you ended. Uh, I don't like that. That's the bad part about having my chi. Uh, but I really like this tool a lot. I feel like it really did do a good job at smoothing out my hair. My hair is definitely less frizzy than when I began this video. It was kind of a mess, but now it looks really nice. So I definitely would recommend this to someone who, especially if you have like a morning shift and you just don't have a lot of time to do your hair, this is a great tool because it's very quick and easy. And I would just recommend it to anybody who just loves straightening their hair and just wants to do it at um, half of the time that you would typically do with just a regular straightener. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. I love it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little review and demo of this product and I hope that you, you know, saw the difference and just how quick and easy this product really is or this tool really is because it is super easy to use. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one.